What is up guys? Jake from OneHive here with the next cleanup video. And this is going to be one from the scrimmage that was had this last weekend with Mental Martyrs and North Remembers and so. Um, very good attack and this base actually gave, absorbed quite a few attacks. So I thought it'd be a good one for, for the cleanup video to show how it was finally broken down and defeated. Uh, obviously has a separated king and queen and what Noah wants to do, these were both actually not the first attacks, they were cleanup attacks. Noah tries it, he wants to come in and I think he wants to grab the CC lure right here. And I'm actually pretty surprised. I would have to go back and look, but that looks just eyeballing it to me, like that mortar should be in range. Uh, but drops a few hogs there and it does not get it. So he elects with all this point defense to not invest any more in that and just goes on with his attack. Drops his queen down and his healers, just doing a little miniature queen walk. Actually it's lower than that, but you know, takes this stuff out, works her way up this direction. Uh, wall breakers in here and drops a jump spell uh, right here. Now, excuse me, that's not a jump. Does not drop a jump spell there. I apologize. Actually, yes, he does. He has two. Yes, sorry guys. It's been a, it's been a long weekend. Uh, drops a jump spell there. Comes in. CC troops come out. Drops a poison spell. Takes most of this stuff out. But because of the fact that the CC troops didn't come out, I think he wanted to kill them down here with his queen. It sort of gets him held up here. The all of his troops are beating on the king and the CC troops, and this air defense is able to take out his he his healers, uh, especially with this sweeper pushing everything back. It uh, his healers back it takes a moment, and his healers go down. But then, so his queen's on on her own. Hurts him a little bit. Also comes in from the top with his hogs, just sort of four finger drop more or less. Comes in. There is a double set of bombs here, and the other set is right here, I believe. Is that right? Pretty sure that's right. Comes in like that. Uh, the one thing that sort of messes him up is this, as a Tesla pops here, it sort of slows him down and his hogs, they, this group actually kind of catch a little bit of those bombs as they come down to this air defense. So he drops the heel there, but he did lose a few hogs to that, that double bomb set. Uh, then just sort of runs out of juice. He has a Tesla over here. Uh, and then I believe one, maybe one down here. And there's a few point defense left standing. Very good attack. Gets the vast majority of the base. Forgot to mention it, but obviously comes in on the other side with a, a king swap for this queen. Creates a little funnel here. Uh, sends his king in. Takes the queen out. Doesn't get much else for his king, though. Again, just a lot of point. This is a good base. A lot of point defense. Uh, there's a Tesla over there. Just takes his king down really quickly. Uh, so knowing that someone's going to come in and do that with this base, really defended it well to where nothing much, much more than the queen went down. Uh, so let's watch Noah do it, and then we will come back and talk about how this base was actually three-starred. All right, here we go with Noah's attack. Again, you're going to see those hogs go down, and I guess, again, just, man, had to be right on the line. I thought it looked like a, a lurable spot. Uh, right here they come. Uh, point defense starts locking on, and look at that. I don't know. I, again, I have to look at it with the, with the ring open, but it had to be really, really close, especially for Noah to believe that he could grab it. Uh, might have been just one a deal where they just didn't step in the right. I mean, if just a little left or right, they would have been in range. Either way, didn't get it done. Drops the queen down. Drops the healers on. Uh, wizard to create that funnel. Push the queen where he wants her to go. So that's all good. She's going to step up, start working on that archer tower in just a moment. Uh, good thing, good placement where he dropped her there because only one point defense at this point. Uh, second one's going to lock on in just a moment, but it's going to get to encounter the first one at least one at a time. So that's good. Steps up, starts working on the next... Uh, collector and then that cannon now she's having to deal with a couple but golems go down uh not a long queen walk by any stretch i think that's what hurt noah here he got some defenses for his queen however he did not get enough probably to justify the three healers a pretty heavy investment there uh and then as you'll see in just a minute as she starts walking into the pocket here those air defense get in range sweepers are pushing them back it just didn't get a whole lot for that for those those healers, in my opinion. Uh, poison goes down as the CC troops start coming out. Queen does step up, start taking them out pretty quickly. Uh, what you see right here is his healers are starting to peter out there, starting to go down. Uh, so that's going to be that. Everything's sort of stuck on that king as well. So they're not really in there targeting the air defense. Finally, the golems have to take it out. Uh, the king goes down, but now the queen's on her own. A uh, little funnel for the king here, pushing him in and going to do that queen swap. Again, you're going to see it's going to work out just fine, except for the fact that he's not going to get much for it besides the queen. See the Tesla pop there? 
Uh, Queen in the center here had to use her ability, or does not use her ability yet, but is about to have to in a moment. Here come the Hawks. Coming in from the top, this is a good part of the plan, I think, but watch the double bomb set here. Very important that it just sort of, the timing just gets off a little bit. That Tesla does not go down quick enough. He wanted that small group to cut across and have already had those bombs triggered at this point. But right here, right as the Tesla goes down, so does the Expo, and it's just bad timing. Those hogs get hit, they get hurt, the skeletons jump on them. Uh, he goes ahead and drops the heel, but there's just not enough left at this point. The queen goes down there. Uh, you see the small group on the top goes down and just runs out of gas. Uh, very good attack, very good plan. Just a few things didn't go right. And when you're talking about a well-designed base like this, a high-level base, everything's got to go right. A few things don't go right, you don't get the three-star. You end up with an 80% one-star, which is what Noah got. But let's go back to the drawing board and see how Hell corrected it. All right, looking at Hell's attack, he brings a pretty similar army, but he just sort of switches things around, which I like. He got a lot more out of his queen for that investment. He actually brings a fourth healer and gets a tremendous amount for it. Just drops his queen down right here. All the healers on there. She starts taking all this out. Obviously, the queen's going to step out, but he gets all of this. The Tesla, the queen, everything com comes out and gets taken down. He uses a really nice rage spell on the healers and queen right here. To deal with that, uh, once you rage those healers, especially four of them like that, on a level 30 queen, she can take a massive beating. Takes care of everything. She starts working her way down this direction. Once this uh, archer tower goes down, he sends a hog in, grabs that lure, uses a nice poison on the CC troops. So now for the queen, he's got all of this, plus the CC troops taken care of. Then he's able to just come in with his golems on this side. Same sort of thing, wall breaking in, dropping the jump spell in the same spot, and coming at it that way. The only critique I would have on this beautiful attack is that maybe he dropped his hogs just a little bit early because the same sort of thing happens. He makes a little bit of bacon with hogs here that I don't think he had to. I think his golems would have taken this out and walked across and triggered, but by the time they do that, his hogs had worked their way in. Uh, but that's nitpicky. Again, beautiful attack. Drops a nice heal for him. Uh, they work their way down, and he even swags one heal. Doesn't need it because... His queen is walking her way down this way. She's taking out all this stuff down here. I mean, I think the last thing she takes out is like this archer tower. I mean, she really, really got a lot for that queen. Made the difference. Got him the three star. Let's watch him do it. All right. Here we go with Hell's Attack. Again, just starts off with the queen over here. Drops her down. Healers are on top of her. Soaking up all that damage. And as soon as she gets into range of this queen, this defensive queen, going to drop that uh, rage down. Completely take care of her right there. Boom. There's no chance of her going down now. Those healers have her completely covered. Uh, again, here in just a moment, you'll see the queen step out and start engaging. But even that is not going to hurt her. I mean, just just crushes it. Doesn't have to use her ability. Doesn't have to do anything. Just takes all of that point defense out with the queen as well. Right here comes the hog in. Going to grab that CC lure. Boom. Everything comes out. Uh, as soon as it starts getting in range, going to drop that poison spell down. Only thing in range is the Expo right now. I mean, that Wizard Tower, that doesn't even count. It doesn't matter. Uh, so the Expo is all the Queen's having to deal with. As soon as they get in range, she starts firing in on them. Again, just much improved AI. She, before, she wouldn't have done that until they basically were attacking her. Now they get in range. She starts taking them out. Uh, they go down, and the Queen continues her walk. Over here on the left side, Golems are down. Wizards are creating a funnel. King's down. Everything's working its way in. You see that jump spell. And then here in just a moment, you're going to see he starts dropping those uh, Hogs down. Again, in my opinion, just a little bit early because these golems are going for that archer tower. They do end up taking it out. It just as soon as they do, the hogs are in range. So even a delay of two or three seconds, I think, would have saved him quite a few hogs because a pretty good chunk of them make bacon. But, you know, again, that's nitpicky. He absolutely crushed this base. I do like these few hogs on the cannon and the mortar there. That's good. They're distracted. They're t targeting something else. Uh, so pretty much free troops there. Uh, then here come the, the massive group of hogs up top there. They're going to start working their way through really quickly. Here goes his first heal spell there. Right there, you see that group makes Beckham kaboom, goes down. I mean, it wasn't a huge group. It's not a, it's not a big deal. It wasn't a, a large group of hogs, and it was nice him coming and taking out those few defenses there. Uh, but here he's just, I guess, just playing it. I mean, he, he knows it's over. He knows he's got it. The queen's still coming around. As soon as that storage goes down, she's going to be on those last two-point defense over here. Could have dropped the, the heal spell just to be safe, but he knows where the bombs are. He knows they're triggered. Uh, the hogs will kind of skirt through one here in just a moment. Uh, but not not a huge deal. Right here, they're going to trigger that one as they go up to the CC into the uh, storage. One hog comes over, boom, he gets it all by himself. Uh, but that is that, guys. Swag heal, 
perfect attack. Absolutely. Again, this base absorbed several attacks, so that was a very good job of hell taking all that information and doing it the right way and getting the three star. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you learned something. Until next time, Jake from One Hive reminding you guys to suck less.